Um, I'm an epidemiologist, so I really didn't think I had a story, but my lovely group um, found this story in me, um, and so here it is. Um, so I'm 22, graduating college, find out that I'm pregnant. I sort of, not a wise decision, marry my boyfriend. Um, and <laughs> so I, um, it's now fast forward, it's time for me to have this baby, I'm in labor, I call my mother. I'm not close to my mother. We actually um, sort of haven't gotten along for as long as I can remember, but you know, I'm pregnant, I'm having a baby, she's my mother, so I call her. And she lives about two hours away from where I'm living at the time. And she's, it's about midnight. And she said, OK, I'm going to put on a pot of coffee, and I'll be there. And I was like, be there? I mean, that sounds normal for other people, but not in my family. So you know, I go off. This baby comes very quickly. And just as I'm having him, my mother walks in and is there with me. Um, and in that moment, you know, there's this grandmother, my mother, me, and this, this sort of perfect baby that I have. Um, and we connect in this way that we had never connected before. Um, my mother died two years later from cancer. Um, and it turns out that in that moment, sort of my commitment to women's health to what pregnancy can bring a woman and a family, the power of it, the tragedy of it, the miracle of it can change a life. It changed mine. Um, and it turns out, as I learned today, um, that my commitment to women's health and pregnancy health and reproductive health, I kind of learned from my mother in that moment. Um, and that's my story. Thank you.